Thank you very much, Cahir Luck, and you're very welcome, Commissioner. Um, we're delighted to have you here today. And uh, you know, we don't often get to discuss European affairs, so uh, this is a really important day for us. Um, and I was also delighted that you spent so much of your time discussing climate and biodiversity and the emergency, and really um, looking back over the last few decades and saying, we did get it wrong. Europe got it wrong. Ireland got it wrong in pushing for a particular form of agriculture that actually has done our farmers a disservice when we look at now what is being asked. But I think it's really important to point out that nobody is pointing the finger at farmers. And I do hear this quite a lot. Um, and it, it does um, boil my blood slightly because people are playing politics with farmers' lives. They're playing politics with climate. There is no green that will ever point the finger at a farmer. What we need to do is to put in place supports so that people have choices and that those choices are greener choices and actually um, ensure that people have a future for their family farms. Um, when it comes to the climate crisis, an awful lot will depend on how we invest in Europe, and that's publicly and privately. And um, there are several factors that make it such an important time because we actually have, in private sense, we have quite a bit of a build-up uh, in terms of Irish households with 150 billion in deposits as of late last year. And we have to ensure that it doesn't flow into fossil fuel infrastructure. And in that respect, the EU taxonomy, I believe, was a, mixed, a missed opportunity. And I know that myself and Senator Higgins were part of a, of a, um, a, a group of parliamentarians across Europe with Greens and others from the centre left that really pushed hard. And in the end, um, I think that it's really disappointing that, um, you know, that gas was, 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 was not included or was certainly seen as sustainable. Um, so you'll know that the European Court of Justice is seeing a case now filed by NGOs um, because of the European Commission's refusal to remove fossil fuel gas from the sustainable finance taxonomy. So I, I would like to hear you address that because we can't keep steering investment large private and public investment in a way that is uh, unsustainable and still say that we have a green economy and still say that the future of Europe is green and clean and it's bringing green jobs because that is the future. Um, as you very rightly pointed out, um, Commissioner McGuinness, Denmark moot, Ireland has 50 gigawatts potential off the west coast and we are only now moving to try and realise that potential. Private and public finance um, is needed in order to move us forward. Um, so, you know, I do, I do recognise that there have been a lot of, uh, of positive developments, such as the Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive and the Due Diligence Directive. Um, and obviously, you know, I think it's important that you have an opportunity to speak about that as well. You know, when I think back, and I have been in Europe, in the European Union uh, for the whole of my life, um, and when I think back to it, I think it's always, we've had this sense that it is based on shared values um, on a sense of protecting democracy. We have seen, when it came to Brexit, we have seen that we have reaped the, uh, we have reaped the rewards from being part of that um, community. But it's also important that we act as leaders now ourselves inside that community. I can see difficulties when it comes to um, rights going backwards in terms of um, LGBT plus community, in terms of women's rights, contraception, access to contraception has gone down in, in some of our um, European um, Union colleagues, countries. You know, what are we doing as a country to say what we are going to do as Ireland, as part of that community, in order to ensure that we don't go backwards, but we push forward and, um, and we are the change within that community. Thank you.